Hey everyone, uh, Daniel Marchena here, and I wanted to uh, welcome you to a follow-up video about my Android Wear for iOS, a uh, video I put up a, a week ago or so. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about was notifications. Now, notifications will come through to the watch as long as it's paired to your phone. Uh, any notifications that come to your phone will also go through to your watch. Now on Android, as you see here on my LG G watch, uh, I have actionable notifications that allow me to like reply or mark as done or anything like that. Unfortunately, none of those are available on iOS. The, uh, the notifications that come through, the only thing you can really do is see them and dismiss them or block the application from sending future notifications to the watch. That's pretty much it but all notifications still come through. So it's still very useful to use if you just wanna see your notifications, uh, see who's calling, see who texted you, see who emailed you. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention today was regarding applications. Um, now, unfortunately, no Maps notifications come through to the watch because it's not a real notification on iOS, so those don't get passed through to the watch. And Android has, uh, Google has actually removed from Android Wear things like Google Maps, Google Keep. Uh, you do retain Google Translate, um, but those other applications have been removed. Now, hopefully they'll come back in the future, but that means you can't navigate from your watch, you can't use Google Keep for notifications. But I did notice that Google Fit works perfectly fine. It tracks your steps and you can still do your heartbeat it doesn't sync anywhere but it stays on the watch so if you just want to see how many steps you're getting and maybe key them into Apple Health you know that's something that you can definitely go ahead and do and, and those are retained but all of the other applications um, those unfortunately are not available on Android Wear for iOS uh, one of the other things I wanted to mention is regarding activation. You need to be on Android Wear version 1.3 in order to set this up with iOS. So pretty much that means unless you're buying a watch that was previously owned by someone with Android, you're not going to be able to pair it to your iOS device right out of the box for anything but the uh, LG Urbane or the brand new watches that were just announced. The older watches need to be paired to an Android device and update them to version 1.3. And again, that can only be done on an Android device or in the case of like the LG G Watch and a few other ones, you can actually connect them to the computer and force the update. Uh, the way to see which version you're on, if you leave the watch stagnant after turning it on and it's on the welcome screen, it'll eventually hit a demo screen and you can go ahead and go to the settings menu like I'm showing you here, swipe all the way down to about and then go ahead and you'll see the version, tap on the version, took me a moment here to do that, and then you'll see version 1.3. And that'll go ahead and help you out with getting that all set up. Uh, you can use the update feature on this screen right here, uh, and that'll help you go ahead and get the watch updated to 1.3 when you're connected to an Android device. You can use like a device at Best Buy or a friend's device. If you have any other questions, be sure to um, leave them in the comments. Uh, otherwise, be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends, uh, especially if they've seen the first one. Uh, this is a great follow-up video to answer some of your questions. Uh, otherwise, I've been Daniel Marchena. Have a great day, guys.